Hey everyone, Jan here, codingwithjan.com. So everyone can easily take a look at Shopify's pricing page, but those aren't the only costs. And as a freelancer or merchant, you should know this. So today I'll show you some real numbers pulled from actual merchant accounts. And in total, I brought four different examples of brands ranging from 2 million in revenue per year all the way up to 60. So it should be quite interesting. And if you're thinking about moving your own business to Shopify, I would love to help, whether it be with technical questions or giving you a more precise cost estimate. So then just use the link in the description and reach out and now we can dive right in. Okay, so then let's get started with what's easiest to calculate, the Shopify base subscription. And depending on where you access this page, currency conversion, what offers they're currently running, the numbers might slightly vary, but overall they're pretty consistent. The main difference between the plans lies in technical features, like how many staff accounts you need, or on plus you also have access to B2B features or the ability to customize the checkout. So here it depends a little bit on what you need exactly. But revenue wise, the biggest difference lies in transaction fees because they go down with higher plans. And that means once you hit certain revenue levels, it can actually be cheaper to be on a higher plan because you save more on transactions, which usually makes up the biggest chunk of your Shopify bill. Okay, now for reference, the $2 million per year business is still running on Shopify Grow. And for them, it might slowly but surely be time to switch to advanced. But yeah, for now it's simple. They just pay the 79 per month. And all the other brands I'm about to show you are all running on Shopify Plus. And here it's a little more complicated because the base fee starts at 2,300 per month if you commit to a three-year term. But then under certain circumstances, there's also a variable fee that comes on top. And I just checked on the Shopify Plus pricing page. Um, here it seems they no longer publicly disclose that. They just mentioned that there is a variable fee, but we have to talk to sales. But the last time I checked, or also for the merchant that I pulled the data from, it's 0.25% on every dollar earned above 800,000 per month. So let me show you this right here. Let's imagine we had a brand doing 9 million per year in revenue. Then monthly, it would come down to 750. And this is below 800,000 per month. So there wouldn't be any variable or additional fees. And therefore, their total would just be the 2,300 that we saw on the website. For the brands that I've pulled the data from, let's just look at the first example. They do 14 million per year. So monthly, that comes down to roughly 1.1 million. And that is indeed greater than 800,000. But you only pay the variable fee on every dollar above 800,000. So you only pay it on the remaining 366,000. So the variable fee comes down to 900 per month. And therefore this brand is paying 2,300 plus the 900 comes down to roughly 3,200 per month. The same math also applies for the next brand, 32 million per year, that's 2.6 million per month. And that means we pay the variable fee on everything above 800,000. So on 1.8 million, that means an additional 4,000 per month. And then their total comes down to roughly 7,000 per month for the Shopify subscription. And for the last brand, 60 million per year, 5 million per month. So we pay the fee on 4.2 million per month. That comes down to an additional 10,000. So they pay a total of 12,000, almost 13,000 for the Shopify subscription per month. And here it's also noteworthy that this is capped at 40,000. Yeah, so you will never pay more than 40,000 per month for the Shopify subscription. Okay, so far so easy. Yeah, this is what people are paying for their Shopify plans. Now let's have a look at what's most likely going to be the biggest chunk of your invoice, payment processing fees. And here I should also say that regardless of where you sell online, you will always have certain payment processing fees. So it's not even a Shopify specific thing, but since it's a very important part of the business and the rates can greatly vary, we have to cover them as well. Now calculating transaction fees accurately is a little tricky because they actually depend on quite a few things. First of all, you get different rates on different plans. They also depend on the payment methods you offer and what your customers prefer, whether it be credit card, buy now, pay later, PayPal. So we will mostly focus on credit card payments here. The costs also slightly depend on your average order value because the rates are almost always a mix of a percentage value, but then also a fixed, let's say 30 cents. So if you have a lower average order value, because you might be selling less expensive items, then you might have a ton of orders per month, and then the 30 cents start adding up. 
And if you're selling high ticket items, you might have a very high average order value, but less orders per month, and then they don't fall into account as much. And then it also heavily depends on where you're based or better to say where your customers are based. Because if we compare this page side by side for let's say US and Europe, you can already see that in the US on the cheapest plan, we get like 2.9% credit card rates and in Europe 2.1%. Yeah, so these are all factors we need to take into account. Okay, so what are the brands actually paying that I looked up? The first brand that's making 2 million per year has an average order value of roughly 125 and their average payment processing fee comes down to 2.8%. So then per month, they pay 4,600. The second brand is more high ticket. So their average order value is $700. The average payment processing fee that they get is 1.8%. So that's definitely on the lower end. And they pay roughly 21,000 per month in transaction fees. The next brand, 32 million per year, average order value 715, also high ticket. The average fees come down to 2.2% or 2.25. That means per month they're paying roughly 60,000 in transaction fees. And the last brand, 60 million per year, their average order value is lower, $140 per customer, roughly. And their average processing fee comes down to 2.7% based on yeah, all the factors we mentioned. So that means they roughly pay 135,000 per month in transaction fees. Can you imagine this? Like paying 130,000 per month just for payment processing? <laughs> it is what it is. All right, another important point would be Shopify apps. So most stores have several apps installed. This is also tricky though, because it heavily depends on the technical requirements, like what kind of apps you might need or legal requirements. So this is very individual. And then apps also have two types of pricing. So there are some with a base fee where you just have like the subscription fee every month. And then other apps have a dynamic pricing with usage-based fee. For example, if you send 10,000 emails, it's gonna be cheaper than sending 50,000 emails, which makes sense. So for the sake of simplicity, I've decided to only pull the data for the base subscriptions and no dynamic pricing because it's so individual on a per store basis anyways. Let's take a look. So the first brand is roughly paying 900 per month for all the apps they're using. The second brand is roughly paying 1,000 per month. The third brand is paying 1,900 per month and the last one, 1,200. Yeah, so this also shows that app fees are not directly correlated to revenue or not necessarily at least because the $60 million per year brand pays 1,200 while this $2 million per year brand pays 900. All right, and with that, we are almost at the end. Of course, there are also gonna be some other expenses, maybe like a domain, 10, 20 bucks a month, which I think we can neglect at this point or Shopify theme, if you migrate to Shopify, one-time fee between three and 500 bucks. Um, ongoing development could be interesting, but it's also very individual, depending on your technical needs, depending on complexity and how much you need to customize. So typical freelance rates range from beginners, 30 to 45 an hour, intermediate 60 per hour, and then advanced and agencies, definitely above 100 per hour. So this can also add up, but it might also be a requirement for your business to operate. So the costs here are going to be very individual depending on the complexity of your business. All right, and that's it for this quick overview. Hope you found this insightful. And on this last slide here, I've also added up the totals for you just for convenience. And also keep in mind that payment processing fees, which is definitely the largest chunk here, will apply on any platform in one or the other way. And also all the brands I've listed here are still happy on Shopify. Yeah, they're happy to pay the subscription fees. Okay, maybe happy, happy is maybe a stretch, but they're willing to pay it because the system runs reliable, it's flexible. Uh, the plans grow as the business grows. And I'm also still actively recommending Shopify because I genuinely believe in the product. So yeah, that's all I have. Hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know if you got any questions. And as I mentioned in the beginning, if you're considering or if you think about moving your own business to Shopify, let's talk. I'd be happy to. And I wish you an amazing rest of your day. I'll catch you later. Bye.